my name is Paul Schmidt. In the world of skateboarding, I'm known as Professor Schmidt. That moniker started back 30 years ago and it was more like the wacky, nutty professor, right? Now I'm a mature, esteemed, you know, did a bunch and made things happen professor. Of skateboarding, that is. I like to do a thing on Instagram, Maker Monday, because I always make things and now everybody's always like, Maker Monday, what are you going to make today? What's going on? So today, Lonnie's making, I'm just here watching him. It's pretty cool. Lonnie and I started to make a template already. However, I walked out the door and Lonnie broke the rules. Yeah. I took the instructions off. Well, I don't need instructions. <laughs> <laughs> I already know what I'm doing. Lonnie is a board sports pioneer, and when I was a kid, he was a pro skater, and he built stuff, designed it, made it, rode it, was early part of snowboarding. And to me, he was a magical dude, you know, because he made stuff, and that's what Maker Monday is all about. He's making a reproduction iconic piece of skateboard history right here. It's amazing. If you sit still, you'll get a bump, you'll get a yeah. groove. So it's about constantly moving. That's hot. So you got that good? All right, you know, hands 80s down finish, now. yep. This is very old school. This is flat. It just has a kicktail. It is seven plies of maple. It is laminated, you know, and then huge. It's like a boat, right, compared to a modern skateboard. So this is my personal copy of the Ollie book, a little hattered and tattered. This is an amazing reference guide. It's really a lens to look through everything going on in the 70s. It's not just the tricks, it's these places, people all around the world, the shoes they're wearing, the clothes they're wearing, the hairstyles. And it really tells the whole story of the quest for air and eventually what led to the Ollie. Everybody in here and all this stuff is what fueled me as a child. It's what made me dream, have ideas, act upon them, make them happen. Here is a some information about some of Lonnie's boards that he rode and prototypes and experimental boards back in the day. You can see his hand-drawn logo, which he's making on the board today. Pretty hot stuff. 1975 is when I made this logo. Lonnie was one of the pioneers for wide skateboards. So this is a 10 and a half inch board. This is the one that went on the snowboard for Sims and is a very iconic piece of history. This is a historical reproduction to me, that's all this is, you know, but to do that with someone that was such an icon when I was a kid, to me is really, really cool. Uh...